How are you doing today? Okay, okay. I'm happy to be at show. Nice. How are you today? Okay, I'm very happy to be here. Nice no, to see you, doing? buddy. Come on, I can't go in until you go in. Thank you. You are, and what's going on here? Okay, my name is David Nimmer. I'm a member of Congregation B'nai David Judea. And every six weeks we have lunch for the homeless of our community and the down and out and just anyone who wants to come. So uh, last time, well, this we've been doing this for about seven years or so. Um, once a month, every other month, every six weeks or so. And uh, we started off, we had one person the very first time and then went to about three people. Anyway, it's gotten more popular. The last time we did it, we had maybe 70 people. It was like this whole room was bursting to the seams. You are, and what do you think of the lunch? I'm Amy, and I think the lunch is wonderful. I think it's a blessing from God. It's like manna from heaven. Thank That's you. what I think. Everyone's welcome, and lot, there are a lot of regulars, so I know them. There are always new people, so I meet them, uh, and uh, you'll see what else is happening. And David, uh, who pays for the food? Uh, you pay for it. Uh, well, the, the, the congregation, the synagogue pays for the food, and uh, we always like members to donate, but the synagogue pays for the food. Sometimes there are local restaurants who help us out uh, as well. Uh, but uh, it's part of the outreach and the, the good works of the congregation. Are they, are they Jewish people? Or just... There are some Jewish, there are some non-Jewish, there are some Israelis, there are some Nigerians, uh, Romanians, Hungarians. We've had everything. <laughs> and, and is this an example of what the temple is about? Well, our, our, uh, our synagogue is very much into good works, community outreach, tikkun olam, which is repairing the world. Uh, and uh, we're also part of an organization uh, that delivers duffel bags to homeless people once a year. And we, we have a gigantic assembly line at the synagogue to set up um, putting the 800 items into each of the duffel bags and then on Sunday we go deliver them uh, after that. But uh, that's a once a year thing, this is a once a month thing. Anything else people should know about what's going on? Yeah, they should come. <laughs> That's a very good point. Uh, the rabbi has been giving uh, Ralph's certificates uh, to people in the community for years and years, so that's how he got known among the homeless crowd. And in fact, sometimes he's riding his bike, like in Venice, and one homeless guy will yell to the other one, that's my rabbi who just drove by. <laughs> Can non-homeless get lunch here too? Yes, yes, anyone anyone is welcome. <laughs> so you, you don't have to qualify in your Right, you don't have to qualify. Even, even you can eat here. <laughs> even I can eat. Okay. Uh, no. Thank you. Uh, 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 your parents come here from somewhere else? <laughs> Hey, do you know what's for lunch today? What's being served? Today we have cholent, we have chicken, rice, potatoes, bread, oranges, and a few desserts as well. And who are the people serving today? Why don't you tell us? Uh, who are the people serving? Um, we are the eighth grade Huawei's class of Yavna. Of, of where? Yavna, Hebrew Academy. In okay. school. And what, what's the school like? It's good. It's fun. Yeah. Is it a Jewish day school? Yeah. Can you say it's a Jewish day school? It's a Jewish day school in LA. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you for volunteering. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, how are you doing today? Good. Um, would you like some peanuts? Uh, well, I to teach. Uh, yeah, I wanted to teach you. Yeah. So, what do you think of the, the meal program here? It's a wonderful meal program. It's wonderful that they're opening it, the temple, to the community. And, uh, I'm real grateful for my friend for bringing me here because it's giving me the opportunity to, opportunity to sing Hebrew and Yiddish songs publicly, you know, for 50 or 100 people. So I'm real happy about that. Thank you. Uh, 
you know, I'm not a professional. So uh, tell me, what's your name and what do you think of the meal? Well, my name is John Paulson. I think it's t terrific. I think it's, uh, I always bring a soda though. They, uh, they, they don't seem to quite have enough soda. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I, I, I contribute a couple of sodas. I, I, uh, I get one or two of them. And, uh, have you been to the meals here before? Oh yes. Uh, yeah. well, what type of things do they serve? Well, you know, they have. I like the stew. I'm a vegetarian, uh, and uh, the, the stew is. Uh, I don't. It might have meat, but it looks vegetarian and tastes great. And uh, I just had rice and, and potatoes, uh, and uh, so uh, so it's it's, a, it's quite good. And I like to hear about the. I like to to hear about the stories from the Old Testament. In fact, I'm reading the Old Testament. Are you Jewish? Uh, no, no. I'm I'm a mix of Christian, Jewish, and pagan beliefs. Yeah, and uh, but I'm reading the uh, I am reading the uh, the Old Testament of the Bible right now. Uh -huh. yeah. um, are you homeless? Uh, no, actually, I have a home, but I I have substandard housing. It's a tent. It's a tent at the ruins of this great old uh, Craftsman Victorian house. Uh, and uh, so uh, that, that's my situation. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have, I have my cats there, and I have a, I have my businesses there. I have, a, I have, I have a three or four electronic organs, and and I have doors and windows too. I sell doors and windows. Okay. So it's a, it's a door and window yard and electronics, electronics facility too. Any messages to the folks out on the internet? Oh, on, out on the internet? Uh, well. Um, so just, just, uh, just, you know, uh, be happy. It's really a wonderful world, even though we have some problems. Uh, and uh, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm really pretty happy, though. I don't, I don't have a lot of money. I'm really broke, but, uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's just a great world, and we just, you know, uh, you know, I hope everybody really appreciates how how wonderful it is. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Nice comments. Yeah. Oh, uh, so tell me, what do you think about this? It's nice. I mean, the food's good and it's social. That's what I like. Is you're socializing, mm -hmm. and we don't always eat good food. I mean, that's life. I I got sick mentally and I just hit the road for a while. Huh. And when I got together, I was on Wall Street and I hit the road for a while again. Well, what type of sickness did you get? Mental. Huh. Voices. That really did me in. Huh. On Wall Street, it did me in. Huh. In law. So now where do you live? I live in a board and carry close by. Uh -huh. And we come here sometimes. My lady likes it. Nice. Yeah. Well, well very nice to see you. Yes. And your name again is? Bradley. Bradley. Nice to see you, Bradley. You saw that there's a video camera here and uh, we're making a YouTube of this because my brother who's in town just loves to make YouTube. Uh, That's right, I can't uh, resist. <laughs> but it's, it happens to be coincidental because we're actually gonna show something from YouTube today uh, to do something different. Now, what is it that's different? Well, you see up there it says the power of a community to heal. And that's the name of the video. I want by to be someone special. A rapping SC is a great inspiration. To glorify God, okay. Uh, so I face. You face that okay. way. Uh, what can I give? I'm giving my joy. What can I give? I'm gonna give God my praise. What can I give? I'm gonna give God my ways. What can I give? I'm going to give God my hands. What can I give? I'm going to give God my feet. So the song goes like, Jimmy, Jimmy, wait for me. I'll grow up someday, you see. Keeping all my kisses just for you. 
Jimmy, Jimmy, will you wait for me? And then Jimmy says, Joni, Joni, please don't cry. Joni, you's only 15 now. Why am I telling you the story of Jonah and the whale and the king of Nineveh? The lesson is a matter of what mistakes we've made in the past. We will have another chance. We don't know when it's going to come. We don't know how long it'll take. It might take hundreds of years. But there will be another chance. It's never too late to say the right thing where before we had said the wrong thing. It's never too late to do justice where once upon a time we may have done something that was unfair or unjust. Uh, yeah. Thank you.